Dispensers and droppers are fairly useful redstone items that are also used in a variety of traps because one step down a hallway you know you're in the wrong place. But they're also used quite often for randomness because with the push of a button you can get a number that's either 0 or 1. Or with the push of another button you can get a number that's either 0, 1, or 2. But how reliable is this? Can we trust dispensers and droppers with our randomness in Minecraft? To try the, to test this, I set up a little demonstration. You can see we have some colors and some droppers. This one has white and orange stained glass panes. This one white, orange, magenta. And it all corresponds with what's on the floor. So we have two, three, four, five, and nine items in the hoppers. And I have timers set up to continuously uh, pulse the, the, the droppers to put items into the chest and stack up on these piles, and a way to count how many have happened since I pulled the lever. So, I'm going to get my scoreboard set up, and we're going to pull this lever, and it's going to start doing collections by dropping items into the chest, and at 96, we will end and put them into a separate chest. So, here we go. Well, I should set up the separate chests. Just... Now for the back. Yes, cool. So we're going up to 96, and you can see items are randomly getting pulled out. And I'll be right back once that happens. Okay, so I stopped at 96, and you can see we got 51 and 45. So I'll come over here and drop those into this chest. And now I'm going to do the same thing for all the other ones, increasing the limit I'm going up by, increasing the limit I'm stopping at by 32 each time. And for this one, I'll do a larger one since I have multiple stacks. So I'll be right back with some data. So all the tests have been run and the data has been tallied and here it is. Yay. So I got some stuff going on here. I piled up snow blocks for each of them where a block is eight, and then there's this individual layers for one more. You got 51, 45, 48, 38, 41, etc. And we're looking to tr see if these are flat. Well, with the exception of this one, they're not very flat. But we can't just draw conclusions based on appearance. We actually have to do some statistical analysis. So I conducted a chi squared goodness of fit goodness of fit test against a flat line saying that they're all equal to the mean which they should be if it's random our null hypothesis which is what we're trying to see is true is if these are random if they give out a random item each time and basically we're finding a prob the probability of getting this outcome assuming that it is random so probability of getting this is 0 0.5403, which is 54%, and we're going to reject our null hypothesis if the probability is less than 0 0.05, so less than 5%. So this is well above 5%, so this is this does fit our null hypothesis. 0.5346, this also fits. 0 0.9691, this definitely fits. Then, 0 0.0216. This does not support our null hypothesis, so we would reject it and say that a drop, a this a dropper with five stacks of items does not drop its items randomly. And for the last one, we got 0.6154. Fairly flat line. It's a it's there's a lot of data, so. Indents like this aren't as important to the whole thing, but for small amounts of data, indents like that are, make a big deal. So, as of right now, we are rejecting on a hypothesis and saying that droppers are not random for 5. They are for 4 and they are for 9. So, let's do a few more tests. So, we got a similar setup to what we had before, except using 6, 7, and 8 colors of stained glass. And I'm going to run the same kind of test I did before. And let's see what kind of data we get from this. So this collection is done and the data is in and 
here's what we got. These are for six, seven, and eight items in the dropper. And I did the same thing. I calculated the chi-square goodness of fit test. I did. And we got 0.3698. Not decent, but within our range. Well within our range. For this one, with its crazy 53 against 35, we still get 0.1224, which is not good, but still within our acceptable range. And for this one, we get 0 0.3087 within our range. So all these are evidence to support the fact that droppers do dispense randomly. But they do not support the fact that droppers with five items drop randomly. And this, we still have to reject our null hypothesis and say that based on our, our sample, a dropper with five items in it is not going to dispense its items randomly. So what does this mean? Well, if you're using a dropper or a dispenser with five items for whatever reason, it's not going to be entirely random. So either add another item, take out an item, or just ignore it because it's not too big of a difference. You're still going to get everything. You just might get the outside ones a little less. So do with this do with this information what you will and that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching.